Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacMix Studio. We're continuing our discussion on the new features of Final Cut Pro 10.1.2. And we're going to be looking at uh, specifically file management, where last week we looked at media management. You have some things to show us that are new relative to yeah. that. Yeah, a couple things related to how Final Cut handles files, where it puts them, and how it names them. So previously, uh, you may have noticed sometimes that Final Cut, when you import media from a card or a camera archive, that Final Cut will rename your clips. Uh, <laughs> yes, and that's one of the things I, I, I just really don't like. I, I have my Canon, I plug it in, and I have all these file names, they come in and they, they have all these time date stamps. And I, I just want it to come in with the file right. name. Oh, right, so, so for some cameras, it will rename them from the original camera name to a time date stamp. And the reason it does that is to avoid having files with the same name, because some cameras rename files when you clear the card with the same names all over again. Right. So it tries to avoid that. It takes a different approach now. And because of that approach, there's no more file renaming. So I want to demonstrate that. So I have a, a, a particular library here. It happens to be a managed library. And I'll show you why I'm showing you that in just a minute. You can see here in library properties, it's a managed library. I'm going to click import media. I'm connected to a, uh, a card reader with a CF card from your Canon 5D, mm -hmm. right? right? And what I'm going to do is select a clip in here that is, uh, that's, it. that's the one right there we want? Okay. Yep. And I'm going to click Import, and I'm going to choose to copy it into the library. And if you notice the name there, and you notice the name here while it's importing, it's the exact same name. That's fantastic. So it's, it's a great thing that it now keeps the same name. So if I select that clip, and I right-click and choose Reveal and Finder, we can see that it is stored in this library, in this event that I happen to have called file names, in this original media folder. So that structure is not changed, but what has changed is that file name. Well, it kept the file name, the, same. Name, the camera file name, all the way through the pipeline. Right. So it ends up in your original right. media folder with the same name. Now, just to point something out, if you do import into a, a library that is not managed, so with this library called Music Videos, we see I have a target from my media of an external folder. Right. So this is not a managed library. I just want you to see the difference here. So from here, with that selected, I'll click the Import button. And I'll select that file again and choose Import Selected. And I'll copy to Library Storage Location, right? Not Library, but the Library Storage Location, KZ Media. I'll click Import, let it do its thing. And then what I'll do is locate that clip. It's got the same name, so it, it still it does not change its name, whether you import it into a managed or unmanaged library. But if I reveal that in the Finder, this time what we see is that it imports it into this Final Cut Original Media folder. That's there, external. There's a, yeah, there's our external folder. There's Final Cut Region Media. But notice that there's a separate folders created with dates that keep each of these clips separate. Okay, so, so that's kind of the date timestamping being removed from the file name and being put onto folders when you store media externally. So that avoids this issue of having a Final Cut needing to rename and append clips with another, another number or something. So that begs the question, is it possible to import into a managed library two clips with the, the exact same name? Same name? Yes. It, it, and in that case, it will append it with like an FCP1 or FCP2 right. in if fact, you a lot of that. you have seen that, if you look at original media, if you see a clip with FCP1, that just simply means that Final Cut is tagging it so it's not, so it can't can confuse with a clip that has the exact same name. Same name. Right. And the yeah. good thing about this, besides making more sense to you as a user, that you see exactly what you expect in here, which you can, of course, rename after the fact any way you want. Sure. And you've covered that many times. The, um, this makes Final Cut act uh, more friendly with third-party applications because they're seeing names they're expecting to see in your original media folder. That makes so, sense. That no, makes nice sense. feature. So the second thing I want to show you is a little bit about relinking media because Final Cut has gotten much smarter about relinking media and finding your media. It's kind of cool. So check this out. Uh, we just saw that this with this music videos library that we're storing the media externally in that KZ media folder. And in fact, let me just go to reveal and finder so we go back to that folder. So here's that folder right here. And I'm going to quit Final Cut. And let's say I'm messing around in my finder there's that folder, and let's say, oh, I'm deciding to do some cleanup on my own. So I'm going to take this folder, and I'm going to drag it into this other folder called Picks. 
Okay, so I just changed the location of that media. Yeah, and in by fact, the way, you wouldn't ever want to do that in Legacy Final Cut or Premiere no. or anything or Avid. It wouldn't be a good idea. And now I'm making another folder, and I'll drag it into this guy called another folder. So now I've so you really, buried it tw two folders. I've down. buried it. I have buried it. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is double click to relaunch that music videos library in Final Cut, and let's see what happens. And ta-da! It's totally online. In fact, let's go to uh, this, you know, the thumbnail view, and we can see all these clips are available, and Final Cut had no problem with it. So if you right-click, it'll take you to that folder like buried three levels deep. Yeah, so if the I, point being that Final Cut Pro, uh, as long as the media is on the same volume, we'll be able to locate it really, really easily and quickly. Yeah, it was perfectly happy. It dug, it dug all the way into this Pix folder, another folder, and found that thing. So, that's pretty cool. Now let's do this. Let's go back and quit Final Cut and let's really mess it up. Okay. So I'm <laughs> going to go, I'm going to go to another uh, drive. In fact, do you have your drive? Can I, could I use your other Absol drive? Is it handy? Absolutely. So I, I just, think my drive's kind of full. I just happen to have a new drive. Oh, excellent. Right, right excellent. Here. Excellent. Excellent. Because I think mine's a little full for doing this. And, you know, my desktop's always a mess and my drivers are always full. <laughs> something that, I'm, <laughs> that is true, I can attest. He's always looking to something clear stuff I'm, out. I'm challenged with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this folder and I'm, I'm going to do a media real, folder, yeah, right? Yeah, so I'm going to move it. I'm actually going to, when I, I'm going to drag and I'm going to hold down the command key to do a move instead of a copy. That's, okay? a, that's a finder operation where yep. you can move a folder instead of copying it. So it's no longer going to be in its original location. So we're going to find out if Find out if Final Cut can find it in its little location, right? Yeah, and it's asking a little much. I know it is asking a lot, but... Okay, so it's copied. Let's open up our um, Final Cut again by opening up this library. And of course, any other libraries that happen to be open when I was running Final Cut last time. And this time, it doesn't uh, like it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. And um, it can find one file that because this file was set up as leave in place and we didn't change its location. Should we, uh, it's important to clarify here. Sure. As long as the external media was on the same volume, if Final Cut yeah. expected it to find it on the volume, you can move it anywhere, anywhere. You can bury yes. it 100 folders deep, it'll find it. As Soon as you move that media to another volume, Final Cut Pro is gonna have a problem. Yes. I think we need to kind of state that no, categorically. I thank you, that was the kind of the key thing to get out of this. Right. Now, you can still fix it, okay? Right. It's, you can still fix it, and there are two steps. One is, it says, hey, Going forward, I don't know where to bring in new media, so you need to tell me. So I'm going to say, oh yeah, well what you need to do, I'm going to go to choose, and I'm going to go to your drive, and I'm going to find that folder right there, and say that's where you need to store that media, and I'll do the same for the cache, is go to your drive, and it already sees right there. So I've just told it where to go going forward, right. okay? So I click OK, and I won't include my render files. I don't care about that right now. Um, so that didn't bring the media online. What it did is going forward, if we import new media, it's going to go to this new drive. Sure. Okay. So the last thing we have to do is, is just relink media. So with the library selected, file, relink files. There, it lists them all. I'll choose locate. And this is the new stuff that you're yes. about to show. Yeah, this is really cool. All I need to do is select the drive that that media is on and, fi and Final Cut will search that entire drive for that media. Automatically, just search yeah. it. It used to be you had to go into a certain level folders deep. Right. And, and it could take a while. If it's a huge drive, you may want to navigate if you know where the media is. But right. if you don't know where it is or it's spread in multiple locations because you did a lot of leave in place, yeah. Final Cut will find it all. See down here. Click choose to verify six of six files found. So it this found is, this them. Is, I mean, this is fantastic. It's, it's I don't really have to good. hunt, you know, go on a, on a hunt a hunting mission for my clips. As long as I select the volume, it should be able to find all of that clip media, all yep. that data there. So I click relink files yeah. and we are back Voila. in business. Okay. So you can generally those type of media manage operations of moving media around you want to do within Final Cut Pro in this very window, library properties, which we cover in detail in our media management tutorial, rippletraining.com, check yeah. that out, including the, the free movie there. Yeah. Um, but if you do do it in the finder, you can solve the problem. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. So there you have it, some uh, great new features for workflow with regard to managing media and managing files. So um, check us out uh, at our Twitter, at Ripple Training, and uh, Facebook, and check out our new media management tutorial. We got a lot of stuff in there, a lot of great stuff we packed in. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.